Hey, hello guys. I really wanted to make about the this circuit that I found a few days. Uh, yeah, probably two days ago, I found this circuit and I, I see that it's pretty interesting. Uh, these are the first uh, circuit that Mr. Pete uh, Ostriber designed, and uh, I was really interested. So uh, yesterday I started to uh, put together the simulation on multi sim 14. And uh, today I decided to make this uh, simulation. Oh, this is the power board. This one here that you see that I'm moving right now. This is the power board. And this was, this one here is the driver board. So I have a little problem because I was not able to get it right. Because uh, I think the bias, it has something to do with the bias. So I noticed that. So on the R77, uh, seven, 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 sorry about that, 77. 60 680 ohm so i decided to change it to 220 so i can get a little bit more bias uh, current for the main power transistor so i place the multimeter right here reading the voltage across r89 to see what happened but on, on the simulation is different because I do not have R89, it's R19, but it's the same thing. It's about the same thing. Don't worry about that. So I placed a multimeter here and I adjust it to about 19, 19 millivolts. It's supposed to be like 20, 20 millivolts should be fine. 20 millivolts. So, uh, so I have a, a little problem of distortion. So as you can see on the simulation, R85 was six, 680. So I decided to change it to... 220 ohms so I can get a little bit more uh, current uh, bias adjustment so I was able to do that to get more a little bit more current and uh, right now it's working fine uh, we uh, even with 20 uh, 20 kilohertz so right now I have one kilohertz of amplitude I got mosquito close to me all right sine wave so let's let's start the simulation I'm going to show you how the all scope all right let's, let's see right here i start the simulation the sine way it looks nice now and uh total harmonic distortion is it's okay 0 0.004 percent uh let's change the the frequency to 20 kilohertz on on the function generator 20 kilohertz let's see i gotta change the time division scale division as you can see now it's 20 kilohertz and uh, the sine wave is is coming out really nicely and clean even though i have 20 kilohertz the total harmonic distortion is still pretty low uh, 0 0.003 three percent that's that's pretty good right there all right now i'm going to change the square wave to see how the square wave looks pretty nice now the 20 kilohertz that's a square wave all right, next, let's uh, start the simulation with uh, 20 hertz. Let's change this to 20 hertz. All right, 20 hertz. Let's see how it's gonna respond. Uh, no, let's see. Let's see. 20 hertz. All right. Maybe it's gonna be a little sl uh, slow. All right. Let's see. Gotta give it some time. Gotta give it some time. All right, there you go. That's 20 hertz. You gotta give it some time to the software to so stabilize. Let me see. There you go. It's stabilizing right now. I'll give it some time. There you go. Hmm. On the 20 hertz, it's a little bit, you know, less low. 20 hertz. It should be a little faster. Let me let me increase the amplitude to see if I can fix that. Uh, let's go with 300 millivolts. It's a little slow. That's what I noticed. There you go. All right. Let's see. All right. I gotta give it some time for the software to catch up. All right, still the distortion on, on for 20 hertz is a little high. It's not well. Let's let's give it some time. Let me see. 
Oh, there you go. All right, so it's fine. I mean, 20 hertz is a it's a really low frequency. Uh, 20 hertz is really low, so I don't think it's a big deal. I have uh, 0.425 percent total harmonic distortion. Oh, it's fine. I think it's fine. All right, let's go with the uh, one kilohertz. Back to one kilohertz sine wave and check for maximum output power before clipping. That's really important. I'm going to increase this to uh, 850 millivolts sine wave. Let's see how much uh, power we can get. So this meter that I, I I'm moving right now, this is the wattimetro to measure the watts. Let's see what we can get. All right, let's see. No, need to. No, it's too. There you go. All right. So we have 285, 84 watts. Holy shit. Damn. To 8 ohms low. That's weird. To 8 ohms low. Wow. That is dramatic right there. All right. Let's go. Uh, we, we are going to increase the amplitude. Uh, right now the amplitude as it is right now is a 850 millivolts let's increase it slowly to see before clipping to see how, what is the maximum power in watts uh, the so, uh, supply voltage right that I have right now is 85 volts uh, symmetrical positive and ne negative with the center tap uh, let's see we're going to increase the amplitude to see how much power we can get with before the clipping all right, we got 900, all right, 940. We got 347 watts. Okay, 960 millivolts. We have 362 watts. The total amount of distortion is 0 0.038. That, that's bad, that's pretty good, that's pretty good right there. Okay, let's go with 980. Millivolts uh, amplitude. We got 378 watts. All right, let's continue to see before the clipping. Before we can reach the clipping. All right, one volt peak. At one volt peak, we had 392 watts to 8 ohms low. That's weird, man. That's really weird. That's 8 ohms low. How that? How that is possible? It's weird. Let me see the, the voltage on the output. We got 56 volts. Holy shit. All right, let's let's try this with 4 ohms low to see. I mean, not recommended because uh, this is designed for 8 ohms low, but let's see, let's see. I'm going to activate the simulation. Oh, it's clipping a little bit. It's clipping. It's clipping at... Let me go back. Okay, 780 watts. Let me go back a little bit. Uh, okay, there you go. Uh, 985 millivolts. We have 762 watts to 4 ohms low. That's eh, okay. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. But that, it is weird that uh, to 8 ohms low, I can get all that power. That's, that's, that's amazing because uh, most of the amplifier that I have, to 8 ohms low, it only can go to 150 watts. So this one here can go to easily to 380 watts easily with this design. Oh, that's that's pretty good. I mean, I mean that's pretty good. All right. So okay, I have I already shared the files. I already shared the file yesterday. So this one here is the <coughs> sorry about that. This one is the driver board, and uh, you can see the, <coughs> the connections. The only thing you gotta do is just install the components following the, the the schematics. So like this one here, but the only change I think it can be done on the power board. So so is this one here, R77. I do have R uh, the power board here. So let me see. R77 is this one here. This one's R77. 
So the original value of this trans uh, for, sorry about that this resistor I'm thinking about transistor uh, this resistor uh, let's say R77 is 680 ohms but I found out that doing the simulation it should be 220 ohms uh, half watt half watt I don't think, I don't think it's needed to be half watt all right so this is R77 uh, part of the bias adjustment. So I'm not sure if, if this might be correct to do that because uh, on the on the original, I, I gotta I gotta look at the at the original schematic to see maybe someone copy the the project and uh, they change that value and they don't know they do not notice. So let me see R77. This is one is different here. Oh, this is a different schematic. No, it's not the same. This is not the same schematic. So on this one is R85. R85. Let's see. This one says R85. It's weird. I guess there's a two different uh, schematic. But this one says R77. This is for the. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember now. Don't worry about it. I remember now. So don't worry, guys. I know what it is. Is that they are two. Two schematic. This is the power for the two pairs. So this is R85. So it should be fine. So it's R85. It's this one right here. It's, it says 680 ohms. It's, it's weird. It's kind of weird, right? So I change it to 220, and it responds pretty well on the on the simulation. So that's good. That's good. All right. So now, so now, so now. Sorry about that. So now we know. Sorry about that, it's, man. I'm confused. So now we know that if you have a. It's not biased correctly, so this one should be 220. I'm just gonna type it here 220. So 220. The original value is 680, but let's let's put it here for you guys so you guys can see. So this one here is 220. Alright, so this one here is too, there is too big. Let me change this 1.1, 1.1. So this one here is 220. Alright, 220 for the bias, for the bias adjustment. That's it is weird. Yeah, it is weird that I find out that that resistor, because the so that means that I can use the other option to simulate because of uh, this circuit have two options here that I illustrated here uh, for no TMC C uh, C6 is is 47 picofarad uh, C7 you place a jumper and R27 you will omit so I have not tested with this other option so the TMC option and I have not changed uh, I mean simulated yet so that I will I will simulate that later and I did not. Let me see. I think I'm using the center dial. There's another option for instead of using R17, you will use a center dial. Uh, so the but here is not illustrated how the cathode. So R17. Let me see. R17. Let me see. I gotta, I gotta look at here. R17. Oh, there you go. It's, yes, it is. It says 16. It's weird. Center dial one, but on the schematic it says R17. That's it is weird. It is weird. Probably someone copied the the schematic and posted with just some minor, maybe, maybe. I'm not sure, maybe. But that, uh, as you can see, guys, the the circuit is is working pretty good right now. So so you will have. I mean, you already shared that file. Is the this is the driver? The driver a uh, PCB, and this one here is the power output OPS. OPS, as you can see, this is the name PB two four two fifty N dash BGT. It was designed on two thousand ten. Well, wow, that's a pretty long time ago. Jesus Christ, six years ago. Uh, I was I was doing some adjustment to the to the IPS driver board 
and uh, the, what I did just just place these pads for the screw so I probably I'll probably I'll probably share this this one too this file so you guys can have it all together so you will have a you will have some copper for the I mean every effort to place the screw sorry about that I'm, I'm, I'm running out <laughs> <laughs> I'm running out of air, man. All right, guys. Yeah, that's it. I just wanted to make a video about this. This I think it's pretty good. I, I I'm glad that I found it. So, all right. That's it, guys. Have a have a good day.